towers will be the vertical elements through which the carriages slide up and down. We'll use three 1 meter 2020 aluminium extrusion segments. Let's prepare our carriages by adding the wheels. We'll use the 40 millimeter M5 balls to fix the plastic wheels to the carriages. Do not tighten them all the way. We want to slide them into the tower before that. Add a 20 millimeter M3 ball to the socket on the top of the carriage. These balls will be interacting with the switch on the end stops to tell the printer when it has reached home. But we'll get into that later. Slide the carriage through the 1 meter aluminum extrusion and tighten the balls till the carriage has a firm grip but is also removable. If the wheel bolts are tightened too far, the motor will overheat and cause a layer shift. If they are just too loose, they will jitter between each movement during the print, causing a shaky and slanted print. Repeat this process for the three towers. Now let's move on to the end stop and end stop holders. These will be our go-to elements for calibration. Failure to set up the sand stops holders correctly might result in infinite homing, meaning our printer won't know when to stop when looking for the end stop switch and will keep moving up till the motor hits something or breaks away from the tower. We don't want this to happen. We'll use two sets of 10 M3 balls to fix the end stop to the end stop holder and one set of M4 bolt washer and nut for the outside of the end stop holder. This M4 bolts will keep the end stop holder fixed to the tower and will be used for calibration. Slide the end stop holder through the tower with the end stop facing the same direction as the carriage. We can now test the positioning of the end stop by moving the carriage up till the M3 bolt head touches the metal switch. Repeat this process for the three end stop holders. Now we'll add the arms to the carriages. We'll use five M3 20 mm bolts, one M3 25 mm bolt and six M3 hexagonal nuts. Slide the M3 bolt through the ball head buckles and in through the carriage side openings. Place an M3 hexagonal nut on the end side and fasten the bolt till it bites the nut and is tightened correctly. The grip should be firm and there should be no play on the ball head buckles. Add the cable holder for the right side of the X carriage and use an M3 25mm bolt instead of 20mm. Now we're ready for placing the towers in the base.